Uh, my name is John Carsubieta. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychiatry as well as in uh, Radiology. I also work, uh, I work in general in the Neurosciences here at the University of Michigan. I was very much interested in the uh, underpinnings of depression, uh, bipolar disorder as illnesses that are very frequent, that clearly have a, a strong biological base, run in families, they have genetic, you know, uh, the involvement, the genes are involved, uh, brain circuitry are involved, medications can affect them, but the illnesses themselves are not very well understood. You know, what is, what drives depression, what drives bipolar disorder, and that is what uh, interested me at the beginning of my career in this area. What is most exciting about the field right now is the recognition that one form of depression is not like another one. And that manifests in differences in presentation, uh, differences in how the illness progresses over time, as well as in outcomes from treatment. Some treatments work for some individuals and for some others they don't. So what's exciting about this now is we know much more about the brain circuitry, the chemical systems in the brain and the genes that may be actually impacting on all those factors. So we are talking about um, systems biology, how you put it all together so we understand each individual and how that individuality impacts their treatment and treatment response. I think we've seen an enormous progress in the last even five years, ten years, um, by the utilization of uh, different technologies that uh, before we just didn't have. I mean, one of the difficulties in studying the brain is that it's inside of the skull. So it's very hard to go inside and look. So imaging technologies have allowed us to look at the brain circuitry, the mechanisms that are actually involved in depression, uh, bipolar disorder, and other brain illnesses. Uh, what we are doing right now is taking all that information and, and trying to understand um, how it pertains to the particular individual, um, the treatment response, can you predict it, can we select better treatments ba based on a particular marker or biomarker. Um, that could be genetic factors, that could be endocrine factors, that could be immunological factors, brain imaging, and so forth. And um, the most exciting research in the field right now, I think, is one that tries to incorporate all these perspectives into a systems view of uh, these illnesses.